The federal government of Nigeria is aggressively working to see that the national annual budget is really a recovery budget. This fostered a meeting in National Assembly Abuja so as to critically look at the budget of the Federal Ministry of Labor and Empowerment. The Senate Committee Chairman on Employment, Labor and Productivity, Senator Suleiman Nassif, presides over the meeting. The Senator says the essence of the budget is to create programs, projects and initiatives that will provide jobs to the unemployed citizens. Initially, I talked about uh, HIV. You were explaining to me about HIV. Now, we talked about resilience. Now, again, I'm seeing something that has to do with EFCC. Has Labour now become uh, HIV, EFCC, <laughs> National Enlightenment <laughs> Campaign Awareness Creation on Anti-Corruption? <laughs> we must be very serious. We should look at this budget critically and isolate those items that have no serious bearing to job employment and concentrate more on sections and areas that will bring jobs. But can you conduct a study of that nature? Looking at resilience, resilience can never be a, a scope. It has to be a time series. There is no way you can define resilience on the basis of a one-off event. If this is what we want to achieve, I think there are better ways to do this. I'm perplexed to the extent that if we have all this money and it costs less than 50 million to build artisan schools, we pick all these zones. Each zone we can do too. What? comes out from those schools will not only fill the gap that currently exists, but they're exportable because if a plumber you can work anywhere in the world. Meanwhile, Labour says they give guidelines for the employment. It's not the only other that can create job opportunities. So when we talk about employment, it's a multi-sectoral thing. It's not only for Ministry of Labour. But we we have to educate people, private people, uh, public sector organizations, companies, corporate, uh, corporate organizations, yeah. on what they should do so that the jobs will be created. The mandate of this ministry is for us also to protect the workers. In consonant with section 15, 16, and 17 of the Nigerian Constitution. The heat of the meeting led to the 15-minute executive meeting behind closed doors. Bella Kobe for United Times. Well, it's the romantic right here. Keep watching Unity Times TV, Unity Times Television. Don't go nowhere. Mr. Romantic says so.